Williams could have a new driver pairing in 2022 with Dutchman Nick De Vries in the frame. You can now watch full 24-minute episodes of The Inside Line at our official home on unbeaten.com. Zandvoort is set to be a sea of orange this weekend, with the return of the Dutch Grand Prix a celebration of not just the nation's long-held passion for Formula One and motorsport, but Red Bull Racing title fighter Max Verstappen, whose fevered Orange Army fan base helped to resurrect the event. Waiting in the wings, though, will be another potential Dutch superstar in new Formula E world champion Nick de Vries, who could be making a high-profile switch to F1 and Williams in 2022. De Vries has a stellar record with the 2010 Karting World Championship, Formula Renault 2.0 Alps and Euro Cup. Third in Formula Renault 3.5 in 2015, the 2019 Formula 2 title, and now Formula E's crown. The 26-year-old is also a versatile talent, having raced sports cars in the World Endurance Championships LMP2 category since 2018-19 and the European Le Mans series, where since 2020, he's driven for G-Drive Racing, which took pole and the win at the four hours of Le Castellet at Paul Ricard in June. But while his main focus has been FE so far, Mercedes boss Toto Wolff believes De Vries has an even higher calling. He has somebody that must have his ambition on Formula One, but equally Formula E becomes a truly um, uh, Worth, worthy race series. And uh, we've been able to convince him that it is a platform of the future. It seems that Wolf has since gone back on some of his words in cutting Mercedes' involvement in FE at the end of the 2021-22 season. But that has given De Vries a chance to jump ship too. Potentially over to the Mercedes-powered Williams squad, alongside current driver Nicholas Latifi with the Dutchman's Silver Arrows relationship dating back to 2019. I think the first uh, starting point was um, doing uh, simulator work for Mercedes uh, Formula One from the start of the season. So that was the first yeah, time we really got to, to work together and, and build a relationship. And actually around Monaco time, after the race in Monaco, we had our first kind of appointment uh, to discuss this potential opportunity. and. Um, uh, yeah, in the meantime, I focused on my job in Formula 2 and eventually they, they decided uh, to give me the, the opportunity, so I'm very, very grateful for that. With the return of the Dutch Grand Prix this weekend, there's no doubt it's an exciting time to be wearing orange. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.